30 minutes every weekday catching up with all the trending social media conversations of the day. If you tweet it, we'll read it. We might just even Skype you. Just, you know, no matter your situation, you can rise to the top. Absolutely. You really and can. And it's interesting that he wrote this article on the 17th of June. And on the 18th of June, yesterday, he actually scored two goals Woo! in the Belgium World Cup meet. 30 minutes is all it takes, so use the hashtag 30 minutes on social media to catch our attention. Join the most interactive social media TV show weekdays at 5 p.m. only on City TV. Hello, good morning. You're welcome to The Big Issue. My name is Salom Adun. The Big Issue is live from our studios at number 11, Dr. Martin Loop in Adabraka, Accra. We are live on 97.3 City FM and on City TV around the globe. We are live at citynewsroom.com. This morning, we will delve into the matter of men's gold on, and all its matters arising. The, that gold dealership entity shut down this week, abate temporarily, to uh, engage with regulators, the Minerals Commission, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and possibly the Bank of Ghana. We ask, what really is the business of men's gold? And why is it so difficult to locate men's gold under any of the regulators we have in the country? Is there a lacuna in the, well, in the, in the law that men's gold is taking advantage of? We will look at all these matters surrounding the subject of men's gold later on in the discussion. Also, how come 600,000 liters of petroleum products or oil in storage or in the custody of BOST and the MPA, how come this gets evaporated? Indeed, that is the explanation we are getting from the quarters of BOST and perhaps the MPA, that oil, that oil which... Um, generated a lot of matters regarding the aspect nature of it and which subsequently um, a committee was formed to look into got evaporated when members of the committee visited the site to ascertain for themselves the quantity and quality of same. We will look at what really that means. Is it normal practice or occurrence that oil of this magnitude and volume could just get evaporated in storage? We will look at that when my guests begin the discussion. We will also deal with the matter of the Auditor General and his board chair. What really is the limit of the board chair of the Auditor General's department or the audit service? Mind you, the Auditor General's position is one insulated by the Constitution. To what extent can interference, quote-unquote, by the board chairman be allowed into the operations of the Auditor General? The Ghana Anti-Corruption Campaign Coalition has issued a statement condemning the said interference. We will look into the merits and the merits of that matter as well. And this week, we now have a normalization committee to handle our football in place of the Ghana Football Association. Concerns have been raised about the, the, the caliber of persons, although, although very qualified in their own rights, to manage the association. We have businessmen and lawyers purely in the business of football. The show is live and interactive. You can join us with your comments on WhatsApp on 0549-986-996. On social media, the hashtag is the big issue. I'll return, do some updates, then introduce my guest, then we delve into the discussion. This is the big issue. Don't go away. <music> Welcome to another day, another week, and of course, another episode of 30 Minutes. We're excited, and we will be talking about all the trending conversations. Spend 30 minutes every weekday catching up with all the trending social media conversations of the day. 
If you tweet it, we'll read it. We might just even Skype you. Why are you being so raw and hard like that? But yeah. at the particular time, that's what I want. That's I wanted yeah. to do it. But that doesn't mean you are my enemy. Sure. We can still meet again and shut up. This time, we are about to do Don't come and do that. You're not saying, okay, please, I won't do it. And we'll give respect to each other. But sometimes I feel, you know, when... We, we are all humans. When somebody says something about me, shut up, no, 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 no. I might want to say something. Yeah. So, but when I say it, people shouldn't take it like uh, taking things, you know, personal and stuff. I've understood showbiz now and I really want to work on it. Like 30 this. minutes is all it takes, so use the hashtag 30 minutes on social media to catch our attention. Join the most interactive social media TV show weekdays at 5 p.m. only on City TV. For regular news checks as they unfold. 2020 News. All day, all the time. Politics, sports, entertainment, business and more. 2020 News. We bring you the world in 20 minutes. And that's all the news in 20 minutes. Quero ver todo mundo balançando. Ninguém pode ficar parado. É só loucura. Witness the twisted and tangled story of betrayal, greed, vengeance, and love in the award-winning Brazil Avenue. Carminha, a woman led by greed, gets rid of her husband who is Rita's father and sends Rita away to a filthy landfill. Rita finds love in Batata, but they are soon separated by adoption into different families far away from each other. Many years later, all paths cross again. As Rita, now a renowned chef, seeks to pay back her stepmother for taking away her happiness as a child. It's a story of twists, turns, suspense and thrilling action in Brazil Avenue. Brazil Avenue, coming soon only on City TV. Brazil Avenue. <laughs> You're welcome back to The Big Issue. My name is Selom Adun. So economist Professor Godfrey Bokping has ruled out any significant impact of the suspension of operations of Menzud on the financial sector. He explains that the development is as a result of investors' risk, which regulators cannot be entirely faulted for. The SEC has ordered the immediate suspension of gold deposit taking business, of the gold deposit taking business, of men's gold. There is more in this City News Desk report. A directive to men's gold by the Securities and Exchange Commission said the decision is as a result of the fact that the company's gold deposit taking business is illegal. According to the SEC, men's gold is engaged in the purchase or deposit of gold collectibles from the public and issues contracts with guaranteed returns with clients. By this move, clients whose investments have matured will not have access to their monies until a new order from the SEC. Yet, Professor Godfrey Bokpin tells City News the affected customers chose the risk and should bear the consequence. So it is part of the risk. And, and, and then therefore, when something like this happens, of course, it would affect them. And largely also because we have we, we picked some signal, I hope that that is correct, that already... Uh, some people were making withdrawal requests that could be and therefore and the point that I made earlier was that I want to believe that by now men's gold would have had some kind of arrangement in place and how it deals with the expectations of it is important. City News also understands that the regulator's action follows subsequent visit by officials where detailed information submitted by the company revealed that the said activities were a threat to unsuspecting and uninformed investors. 
The seeming destruction in operation is traced to about two years ago when Men's Gold started selling and purchasing gold and guaranteed the public a return of 4 to 10 percent monthly. This translates into a yearly return of 48 or 120 percent. But on whether the inability of customers to access their funds will distort the already troubled financial sector, this is what Professor Buckman had to say. No, no, the spillover effect may will be new because um, it's largely an isolated case. The reason uh, the, the effect may not be that pronounced uh, in terms of um, if, uh, if overall impact in the market is because reasonable people are aware of the, of, of the challenges of men's goods. Reasonably, the market is aware of what men's goods should have done that they didn't do. Reasonably, the market should have anticipated the end of men's good. So you had Professor Godfrey Bopin of the University of Ghana. He is an economist. A day after the directive from the SEC, gold trading company, men's gold, halted its operations. Scores of its customers thronged the company's branches to withdraw their dividends. Majority of the customers who spoke to City News, however, said SEC's action is unwarranted. City News' checks at some branches of men's goal today reveal that customers are least perturbed by the latest development on the suspension of the gold deposit taken business. Not all, the company itself has issued a statement announcing the suspension of its gold vault market product services for about six days. Not in any way. We are never going to withdraw our money from men's gold. What they are trying to do is to just uh, frustrate the customers so that we withdraw our money. We are, not, we are not going to satisfy them. If that's what they are trying to do, we, the customers of Men's Gold, we are not going to satisfy them with that. We are not going to redraw our monies. We are just here for our extra value. Trust me, no matter what they do, we have confidence in Men's Gold. Apia will not take our money anywhere. So whatever they are doing, Bank of Ghana, SEC, whatever, is not going to work. Because anytime we come here, we get our money, yeah? What? We, are, uh, we, we believe now is going on is there is a sabotage in the system. Men's Good has in the past months been involved in a brawl with regulatory bodies like Bank of Ghana and the Securities and Exchange Commission over the legality of some aspects of the company's operations. The Bank of Ghana has in several press statements cautioned the general public against engaging in deposit-taking business with Men's Good. But a strong caution from the Securities and Exchange Commission on Wednesday initially triggered a defiant position by men's gold. This will later result in a U-turn where the company assures of its readiness to engage regulators. But these customers say the development might affect them if they go unresolved. One, I'm a student. I have my money in men's gold. I have been using men's gold money to pay my fees. Apart from that, I use part of the money for my what? Books and other stuffs. So as at now that you are closing men's gold, how do you want me to pay my fees? Yes, I'm a friend. No, say by young people, no, I'm not a chance. So my baby, I want my Ghana. So say I can create a young man. Yeah, you want to create a young man? Yeah, but you want my young people to see. So my young interest, I can create a young man. Yeah, I'm a So say in the year by my day, no, I'm not going to perform. I don't for no. We will go to job on show. The lawyer for men's good, Kwame Kufo, tells of the outfit's readiness to meet with the SEC to get their concerns addressed. I've written to them this morning asking for a meeting in the coming week so that we can arbitrate this matter with Martha amicably. We can have a negotiated settlement of this issue. Otherwise, we'll have to explore all our other options. Because I believe that they are completely wrong. I believe that the position they taken is not supported by law. This is a situation where people are seeking to stretch existing legislation to find some implied power to punish somebody. You come out there, make a statement, you give a dog a bad name and hang it. When did we start issuing gold back depository notes? Which notes have we issued? When you find time, please ask the Securities and Exchange Commission as to which tradable instrument that we put out on the market. Ask them what tradable instrument. Men's Gold is not issuing any tradable instrument. So on what basis are you seeking to impugn their good faith in the marketplace? Completely untenable.
Though customers of Men's Gold Ghana Limited are having problems with drawing their due dividends, they are, however, confident about the operations of Men's Gold Ghana Limited. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman. All right, so we move on to the next issue, which is about BOST and all the matters happening in that entity. About 600,000 liters of contaminated fuel at the bulk oil storage and transportation bust has reportedly disappeared through evaporation. A five-member committee set up by the current managing director of BOST, George Mensah O'Clay, to take stock of 5 million liters of off-spec of the off-spec product noticed the strange situation. The committee chaired by the CEO of the Chamber for Bulk Oil Distributors, Senyo Hosi, and uh, said after inquiring about the disappearance of the fuel at Zoop Oil, that his team was told of the off-spec products evaporation. Now, the Auditor General, da Daniel Domalevo, has petitioned the President over what he calls unlawful interference and violations in his constitutional mandate. He accuses the audit service and its chairman, Dr. Edward Ajimendua, of engaging in the interference. In a 10-point petition to the president, Nana Akufado, Mr. Domalevo cited procurement manipulations, interference of audit processes, and unlawful circulation of audit findings, among other things, as the basis for his request for a presidential intervention to stop the interference. Here are excerpts of the petition read by Duke Mensah Opoku. Your Excellency, I took an oath before assuming the office of the Auditor General that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana. I will uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana and that I will truly and faithfully perform the functions of my office without fear or favor, affection, or ill will. The chairman and his allies are clothing themselves with powers to direct and control me unconstitutionally, and this must stop. I have therefore served them with a notice that I will not obey any unlawful instructions from the board, including existing and new decisions that are inconsistent with the constitution as stated supra. Your Excellency, in May 2018, I had asked my lawyers to go to court to stop the chairman and his allies from interfering with my constitutional independence. But upon reflection, I thought it wise to attempt settling it administratively. This is because I have no reason or whatsoever to believe that your administration is behind these infractions. And if I should file a suit against the chairman and his allies, it may be misconstrued to mean your administration is behind these infractions. This is why I deem it necessary to bring the issues to your attention. And I hope to hear from you before deciding what my next steps, if need be. So the chairman of the Audit Service Board, Professor Edward Dua Ajiman, has denied allegations of intrusions made against him by the Auditor General. Uh, Daniel Yao Domelevo. The Auditor General, in a letter to the President, asked for intervention in what uh, he described as unlawful interference in the work by the board chair, as you just heard. Uh, Professor Ajiman Dua, or Professor Dua Ajiman, in an interview with City News, says he is not undermining Mr. Domelevo. If you look at the Constitution, there are some functions he will have to perform. And there are some functions to be performed by the board for the proper management of the service. So each one of us has got its own function. And if we respect each other's function, basically nobody, nobody is saying it's subject to our direction or our instructions. It's never done, and we have said it. And we deny that this, at least I have explained circumstances surrounding all this, and they are not true. And we, nobody will, not, nobody will undermine the Auditor General for anything told me that uh, he wasn't aware that there was a meeting and Bafata and the runner said yes, there's that meeting I didn't call you because it was a general meeting to discuss the audit and Bafata is the one in charge of the local government uh, account. That's why I called up and I asked him to let you know. He wasn't happy with it and I said fine, if you're not happy with it, I'm sorry about it because it, it was nothing other than for your deputy who is in charge of that account to come and listen to what I'm saying. So, subsequent one, he was informed 
And that's why when he was asked to prepare a budget, he did. And submitted the budget to the uh, senior minister. Never accused me of leaking because uh, he himself didn't know who leaked it. And I didn't have any copies of any of the audit observations. We have already uh, mentioned that he has not been sent, uh, sending us copies of the uh, arrested report. So I didn't have. All right, so you actually heard uh, Professor Dia Adjiman, who is the board chair of the audit uh, service. Now to some sports of football. A joint tax force of World Football Governing Body, FIFA, and the Confederation of African Football, CAF, um, has named businessman Dr. Kofi Amoa as chairperson of a four-person normalization committee to run Ghana football. The committee will replace the Ghana Football Association's executive committee and will be responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the GFA or of the game of football. The list was unveiled at a press conference at the GFA headquarters here in Accra. Veron Mosengo Omba is a director of member associations and development of Africa and the Caribbean. Conference, which was originally scheduled to come off at 10 a.m., started at around 12.25 p.m. Enthusiastic journalists who had arrived at the GFA secretariat two hours before were made to wait outside by the police CID who had declared the place a crime scene two days after the Anas expose. But when the press conference started, the journalists had their names. FIFA, after consultation with the government of Ghana, the CAF, in accordance with its statute, decided to establish the normalization committee and appointed the following person as member of this committee. Kofi, Dr. Kofi Amoa, president of this committee. Mr. Kofi is here. Lucy Quist, Vice President of this committee. And as the members, we have Na Norte, Miss Na Norte, sorry. Then we have Mr. Kofi Dual Andote. The rest, this list will be completed in due course after consultation of the, uh, again, the government of Ghana, CAF, Together. The four persons, Dr. Kofi Amwa, head of the FIFA and CAF liaison team, Lucy Quest, former CEO of Airtel, lawyer Kofi Dia Adonteng, former Kumasi Asante Kotoko board member, and Na Adofoli Norte, a board member at the Attorney General's department, will now run Ghana football for at least the next six months. The mandate will include the following three main tasks to run the GFA's daily affairs, meaning that the normalization committee will act uh, in place of the G GFA executive committee with the same rights and obligations. So the normalization committee will have a supervisory and strategic role to play. Secondly, to review the GFA statutes to ensure compliance with the requirements of FIFA and to ensure that the necessary reforms are being implemented. And thirdly, once the GFA statutes meet the requirements of FIFA uh, to organize and conduct elections of a new GFA executive committee, obviously based on the new revised GFA statutes. The normalization committee will also act as an electoral committee whose decisions are final and binding, and none of its members will be eligible for any of the open positions in the elections under any circumstances. FIFA say more people will be added to the list in consultation with government. One name, however, was conspicuously missing. MND Kaf's nominee to the committee, Akotos, but had his name removed from the committee due to pressure from the Jubilee House. But what do journalists make of the four persons on the committee? Well, I think it's an interesting list. Um, looking at the background of the members, you have uh, two with a legal background, one with a marketing background, 
one with a more marketing and a more football administrative background, and I think it complements each other. Um, I think there are um, there are, there are, there, are, there are people with lots of confidence in them. I mean, from the government, from FIFA and CAF. If you look at the area of expertise uh, in terms of normalisation, this is what you expect. You as a legal mem member, there there is a business uh, uh, person there. So you know, I, I think it's it's good. But I wasn't surprised by some of the names. Likewise, I was with some, especially lawyer Adontain. I wasn't expecting to uh, see his name on the list, but um, I think. The reason behind doctor's approval for being the president of the committee is the fact that he is well endowed when it comes to football administration in Ghana. Clearly, you can talk about Dr. Kufiamua. Uh, his, his pedigree is well documented here in Ghana. Uh, former chairman of the local organizing committee for Cannes 2008. Dr. Dua, uh, uh, Mr. Dua Dontin has had some stints with Ghanaian giant Kotoko. Perhaps the only two personalities that we are yet to be told of the, their, their pedigree as far as football space is concerned is Madam Quest and Madam Na Adole. For club administrators like Brekum Chelsea's director of football, Nana Odru Safo, the setting up of the normalization committee means the return of football activities which have ground to a halt since June 8th. All I expect them now is for them to organize an early congress for us to go to Congress and then to introduce themselves to us officially and then we move from there. And I, I believe with Ghana football, we'll see uh, the level we want to go. All right, so you heard and saw that report there on the GFA, Ghana football and the normalization committee. So the four persons, doctor, the four persons on the normalization committee are Dr. Kofi Amwa, who heads the FIFA CAF liaison team, um, Lucy Quist, who is the former CEO of Airtel, lawyer Kofi Dua Adontin, former Kumasi Asante Kotoko board member, and Na Adufole Norte, uh, uh, board member at the Attorney General's Department. Um, so these people will now uh, run football for the next six months at least the final determination of their membership is dependent on the passing of an eligibility test and fifa reserves the right to add or remove members of the committee whenever necessary this is the big issue live on 97.3 city fm uh, and on city tv and around the globe at citynewsroom.com you can join the discussion via whatsapp on 0549986996 or on social media the hashtag is the big issue my guest for this morning, uh, uh, lawyer Martin Pebu, who is a private legal practitioner, obviously. Senor Hosi, chief executive of the Chamber of Bulk Oil Distributors. Nana Ofori Owusu, operations director of the PPP. Mm -hmm. Franklin Kujo, president of Imani Africa. And Sydney Kisley Hayford, member of Occupy Ghana. Guys, good morning. Morning. Yeah, good morning. <coughs> it's good to have all of you uh, on the show, um, at least for Senior, this is the first time seen you on the show. Yeah, that's for, true. for the others, I mean, they, they, they've, been, they've been in and out of the show. Uh, so, a number of issues have happened this week. Uh, chief amongst them being the men's gold one, uh, and which we are starting our discussions with. So, I mean, uh, there are people, I, I want you to help us by explaining to us mm -hmm. what the business model or the nature of business of men's gold is because we understand it's a we understand from some quarters or men's gold says it's a gold dealership mm -hmm. um the, the sec or sec says that it's and it engages in capital market activity mm -hmm. just, just put it all together for us what do they do okay so the sec indicates that they actually paid a working visit to men's gold premises and then double checked you see so mean that they've investigated the model and what SEC has come out with is that, you see, <coughs> excuse me, the customers are allowed or uh, shown the way to buy gold from brew marketing. Mm -hmm. You see, so brew marketing has the gold, you buy from there, and then you come to place the gold with men's gold. Mm. And of course, brew marketing is, a, is an affiliate of men's gold. Men's gold. You see, so you buy from brew marketing, then you bring it to men's gold. That's a depository. Mm -hmm. Then they give you a contract. You see, that guarantees you some returns mm -hmm. from 4 to 
mm. depending a on month. the yes a, a man thank you <laughs> depending on the quality of the gold mm -hmm. you see so quite clearly you are issuing gold but securities because once you take the gold and then you give the person a contract or a note in this in this context a note is a contract for a certain guaranteed sum of, by way of interest mm -hmm. then you are dealing with gold backed securities that's how come the uh, uh, SEC is saying that it's a capital market, market activity because now it's become a trading platform, so to speak, because it's open to the public. You see, it? it's open to the public. This is not an arrangement between family members. No, the general public, if they are open for business, allowing the general public to come in. So you buy your gold from company A, Brew Marketing, then you take it to company B, Men's Gold, and then they give you a contract for the, the plan on the quantity of the gold you have and its quality so they give you a contract that okay so we keep the gold we would invest it and then you at the end of the month will give you such an amount that's why they say from four to ten percent so it's a guaranteed uh interest mm -hmm. some even sometimes they call it dividend mm -hmm. but the danger with the dividend uh, thing is that and we shouldn't be swayed by their calling it dividend because uh, ordinarily, dividend means that you hold shares in a company. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure Men's Gold wants to tell us that the customers who bring the gold are <laughs> ipso facto shareholders, shareholders of Men's Gold. I mean, that won't wash at all. So it's even just so, better so that the we. The use of the terminology dividend is, is inappropriate. Exactly. It should be returned. Yes. Or yes. Interest. interest. Interest is more vague. Monthly interest. Mm -hmm. You see, so that's the. Uh, basic model that you're using and certain i know this amounts to a trading a capital market activity so what, what, what is capital market activity if somebody says somebody is engaging in capital market activity or he's engaging in capital market activity what, what does it mean okay so basically the way to um, uh, bring it out clear is that you see in the finance uh, industry we have money market mm -hmm. and we have the uh, mm -hmm. capital market so that with the uh, capital market basically the persons bring the with the uh, the assets okay there is is it's more of a uh what do you call it uh, i think i should get some help the the asset is fixed mm -hmm. in nature okay. as against a money instrument uh -huh, that's the word a money instrument ordinarily you would have uh this in treasury bills okay mm -hmm. Uh -huh. and that family treasury bills fixed deposit mm -hmm. but the capital market instrument in this nature the asset is fixed in the form of a commodity mm -hmm. you see so that is traded so that is primarily the way you will distinguish it you see mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then the fact that it's open out here to the general public you see it's not government and a lot of the money market activities so the way you see it's usually government uh uh, what do you call it? Uh, dominated control. So you see that for treasury bills, they are government. Uh, to, uh, this one, what do you call it? Government instrument. So when you buy treasury bills, they are buying from the uh, government. <coughs> so that's the government borrowing your money and then giving you interest. Mm -hmm. But capital market, though, is not necessarily controlled by the government. You have the private sector playing uh, in. Very well. But, but you see, yeah, yeah, Men's Good is disputing this categorization of its business as 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 one which is a capital market activity and and they are also stating that they don't issue gold but depository notes their lawyer i mean your colleague uh, mm -hmm. Kwame Akufu, mm -hmm. in, i mean speaking on their behalf or writing on their behalf yeah. said again our client reiterates that it is not engaged in capital market activities and neither does it issue gold back depository notes this was contained in this september 12th um, response to um, sex letter ask i mean serving them notice to suspend trading without license um why will he with all the explanation you've given why will he being a lawyer make such a comment that they are not engaged in capital, capital market activities neither does it issue gold back depository note is this something that men's gold knows that we don't know well you see the better way to look at it is uh not to comment about uh, lawyer Kufu's uh, defense, no, but not, not, not his comment per se, but why, why he will say it. Yeah, right? so what I mean is that so we'll come back to the facts. Look, look, let's not uh, get into any illusions. Mm -hmm. SEC says they've investigated, mm -hmm. and what they found is that the customers buy from company A and take that's brew marketing. 
that's the affiliate, mm -hmm. strong affiliate as, as that of men's gold, and then take the gold collectibles to men's bank. You say, yes, so and then the person is giving a contract note. I've seen, and um, just as a uh, this, this uh, uh, Dr. Aubin is stated, we seen big shots in our society, the elite in our society undertaking uh, such uh, business transactions with men's gold. Mm -hmm. So definitely, they are trading in capital market. That's a denial. Of course, as a lawyer, he has to believe in his client's case. That's why I said I don't want to comment mm -hmm. about that. So the, uh, the way we would approach it is to look at what SEC has found out. SEC is the investigator. Even uh, and apart from that, I've also checked. I've seen some lawyers who have uh, stated to me, people that are, I mean, I you know very well, I'm not sure they are misleading me, that look, I went and bought, even after the person came to be sort to say that, oh, I should also go invest, and I said, look, 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 I just told her straight away that when you see super normal profit, mm -hmm. please, please. Yeah. that was what I told her, it wasn't long, that was I, I disagree. Imagine. I go inside quickly and come out quickly. Yes, but, <laughs> but, but, but when you, you maybe the time you enter might have been there, uh, yeah, the yeah, 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 the the music doesn't stop on you. Exactly. Exactly. But you don't control exactly. that. And that is the problem, you see. And that yeah. brings us that's the problem. This uh, the excessive greed. That's what it's, it's saying. Greed, it's when greed. You see supernormal profits. Please flee. flee. I mean, for crying out loud, me, my first degree is in business. Okay, so generally, though I'm no longer in banking and all those, but generally, you have you know, a part of you. I mean, the that? customers, the clients are happy. I mean, they have erected all kinds of placards. They <laughs> will support the business. Are you sure that's not orchestrated? <laughs> no. Are you sure it's not orchestrated? Because for crying out loud, you know that for BOG and SEC to come out, we are all Ghanaians. Mm. We've not shown so far that it's as if uh, there's a personal vendetta between uh, Nana Pierre and the authorities. We've not shown that. So what, the point I'm trying to make is that we would presume that the authorities are taking the right measures in order to save those same customers. So I'm, I'm inclined to go with them. That is dangerous. I mean, this uh, uh, is frankly, you you are an astute all-rounder. I'm not policy one. No, uh, I, I, you know, the only question is easy to make ten percent a month. No, then why? Yeah, but, but, question one, I have two, though, two, I mean, in, in all yeah. of this that I've seen, you know. I have not seen a single customer or client mm -hmm. actually complain. Very well. But, but we'll, 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 I'm, we'll, we'll, we'll I'm just the, playing the devil's advocate. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come to the customer's bit of because there was a demonstration in Kumasi <laughs> in the course of the week in respect of this matter. But, uh, so, but yeah, uh, uh, you want to make a point? Yes, we're just, so you were saying that the lawyer says that's not the case. Mm -hmm. And I'm emphasizing that look, yeah. it's normal that to uh, every case there are two sides. There's the uh, uh, the plaintiff side, and there's a defense. Or if you come to criminal trial, there's a prosecution. Then there's also the defense. You see. Mm. So let's not be swayed by the denier. Mm. We have used the taxpayers' money to pay public officers, sec officers who have been there and they verified. And as I've stated, at least I, I have also seen at least one lawyer who has been there. She came and she was excited. That, oh, see, yeah. this is. 10% a month. You see it? And I said, no, 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 no. They say you should flee from supernormal profits. So that denial, I don't think, would take this case any far. Very well. All right. So, so I, I want to come to you, Franklin. Um, we, we've seen a number of gold um, dealerships or a number of gold buying or selling companies who also do business. How, how different is what they do from what men's gold is doing? I, I've not really engaged in that business, but we see quite a number of such companies or entities around how different is what they do from what men's gold is, is doing that is raising eyebrows well, it, it looks to me that the the statement from <coughs> the BOG uh, well at some point the BOG said they went doing mystery shopping yes, yes. and they found out that the gold was legit right mm -hmm, yes and that um, it was the case in all of this confusion for me if the commodity backing the deal was said to be you know, quite uh, either non-existent, <laughs> then or I'll fake. be most worried or fake. The challenge, and I'm not trying to dodge your your, your question uh, and try to answer it through the the lack or the gaps in our regulatory uh, o oversight. I mean, uh, the policy that, that space as well. It looks to me that what is happening at Men's Good, it's it's actually. Uh, uh, some sort of innovation that we are yet to grapple with because in all the contestations legal and uh, the back and forth 
uh, that, that we've had. It looks as if clearly there is some exploitation of a gap and for positive reasons. I mean, I am not here to question why somebody is giving some abnormal profit to the extent that some people have gone into their business and they've received their returns and nothing has happened so far. I would but think that, that, that may be a, problem, a problematic Yeah, stance. but that's an assumption. You okay. see, the challenge here is that I always say that buyer beware. The likes of lawyer Fibu and everybody else who believes that you have to be careful must also be heeded. In every enterprise, before you go in, whether it is greed or not, human beings, for me, greed is a good word, by the way. Uh, by in, in business, no problem. I mean, I, I'm business. a capitalist, so in the way, <laughs> so a I don't have any greed. problems with that. <laughs> the issue, though, is this. While we are at it, let's not moralize the issue. I think it's a regulatory uh, issue that ought to be dealt with. The reason for which I would think SEC and the BOG seem to uh, not necessarily be in tandem with what is actually happening. I think they should just sit down and solve this matter. So rather than some people, you know, take it, what's it called, leaking uh, statements here and there. It doesn't really occur well. Look, we've been in this town where we've heard that minimum capital requirements are the holy grail. It's emerged that in other far-seeing countries, that is, that is a misnomer. Because banks are set up for different reasons. But the fact that they still exist on a statute book doesn't make it sensible. Because the world has moved on, right? I mean, people can make all manner of arguments. When you say that there are 200 banks in Singapore, people tell you, well, they are representing, they are representing foreign banks. But the fact of the matter is that there are 200 banks in Singapore. If the reason for which you want to shrink the sector is that there are too many banks that's quite a lazy, lazy conversation to have. So my point is that we are seeing a number of regulatory gaps. Look, didn't we hear that some people obtained licenses fraudulently? Mm -hmm. But the same act somehow gives the power to either revoke, uh, sorry, revoke, uh, amend, and to some extent decide willy-nilly that, oh, you can actually stay some aspects of the license. Mm -hmm. So now that these matters have come out, that somebody has procured the uh, fraudulent license. How do you marry that with the fact that in the same law, it gives some leg room? I mean, uh, people, I point that I don't, I just don't have the particular, uh, but I've read it, I've seen it. My guys have actually pointed it out to me. These three examples points to you that we are still living in a bit of financial dark age. So when you see the likes of men's good and the rest, and the challenge of SEC and the challenge of BOG. It looks to me we should actually sit down and understand what may be happening. While I agree that we need to be cautious and we need to also sound the alarm bells that look, you are on your own. This time around, if anything happens to you, we wouldn't have to come and actually uh, bail you out. I have no. maintained that the bailing out itself mm -hmm. was rushed. Because clearly speaking, in some of the ent enterprises, some of the banks, I think some of the the bailing, the bailing whatever it is, was was actually rushed. Same position I've held since the financial crisis in the world. <coughs> so we should not be, we should not be believing. Uh, actually, we should not but encourage. What, what, what do you mean by it was rushed? At what point could? The, the the bailouts have come. Yeah, but if the same Bank of Ghana regulations say that in the case of because the, the banks hold on, hold on, were no more liquid, let me, they, let they me could finish. not meet their financial obligations. And the, the same, I mean, our people would help out here again. If I'm reading the act, it says that in the case of trouble, where the bank becomes uh, probably illiquid, what happens? That the first point of call is to call on the shareholders to make sure that the 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 the, the safe the, I mean the assets are called into question right um, and all of that those options are given some of the banks have said look at least the big the big one said look we have assets value them and then let's see how best you can use that as a vehicle to raise money to to make it liquid if we don't you if we don't approach these processes with that type of pragmatism and rather say that, oh, the fire is coming, fire is coming. 
let's just go and pump money. I'm saying that that decision itself was faulty. And I think we rushed too much. And then now we are saying that we've put in $8 billion and so clap for us. I'm just so saying that there are too decision. many panicky decisions. There are too many gaps. Of course, I'm not saying that for the, two, the first two banks that actually had trouble. Even there again. For them to come out and say the money is 620, it's not 610. It tells you that we haven't really exhausted the processes that well. So I'm saying that the fact that the regulator needs to be doing the right things must be seen to be communicating <coughs> with some fidelity to the fact and to, and to to and also to the market. In any case, this market, I mean, I, I, will, I will go and say something, but I will say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's as if immediately something happens. It is not America where Trump writes a tweet and then the market starts tumbling. You've got to take Our your time. Are analog. They probably they, more they, they are because sensitive. because because they are they are micromanagement the politicians all the time, so it, there's no science to it, there's no method to it. So my point is, all this noise about men's good and the rest. Sit down with the guys, solve the matter, and I don't think releasing leaking uh, statements here and there. Which statement actually go to point to the fact that we need time to understand what is happening there? I I think. We, I don't think we should split hairs over this. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, and I don't want the public press to be used to do any other thing. That's not the, it's also not an excuse to say that because the bank, sorry, because the state has to at some point come in, we should actually rush these decisions. I think we should take our time. Right, very well. Um, Senor, uh, will you fault, I mean, p perhaps, can't we say that the men's go guys have maybe a trade secret if they have a special way of raising funds we, we, we call the four to ten percent returns investors get on their money as super normal can't it also be said that maybe it's because they have a superior plan or a superior strategy that makes them make more money and so it helps them give their investors more returns it's not a plausible argument to make well first of all for me I am pro-business and I I'm not adverse to the idea of trying to come up with new ideas to make business and make some wealth. So that I fully support. But it has to be done responsibly. Mm -hmm. SEC owes the public a duty of care as regulators mm -hmm. funded by taxpayers. Mm -hmm. And you go through the SEC, SEC Act, um, uh, what I think this is 3, 3F, they have a responsibility to protect the integrity of the securities market against any abuses arising from dealing in securities, including insider trading. Mm -hmm. It is important that regulators understand the nature of your business. You can't just work mm -hmm. and think that you're operating on your own. It doesn't work like that. And once you're taking people's money, forget about the gimmicks that you're all creating here. I have spent a good part of my life being a short trade a structured trade finance person. Mm -hmm. I've made quite some good money doing businesses like that. Mm -hmm. You don't work <laughs> in space. All right? You work within the confines of regulation. Yes. Everything must add up at the end of the day. I always tell people it's still a one plus R and N. So it's important that there's clarity on what you do, mm -hmm. where your value addition is. So you take this particular men's gold situation. Whether you put brew marketing here or you put men's bank here, same directing mind, uh, like what we will tell you. You go and put the money where at um, 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 at uh, mm -hmm. at brew. Mm -hmm. You carry gold or something. So, I don't know if it's the other way around. Then come and you put it here. Gold from brew. Uh, but I mean, what, what, what joke is that? <laughs> and the gold is it sold. Is, and it then is an asset back. It's yeah. supposed to be an asset back security. Mm -hmm. Sec, I don't think it's technically wrong. And they have a responsibility to make sure that whatever you are delivering mm -hmm. and the returns you are committing to people and directing people's funds into mm -hmm. your system mm -hmm. has some legitimacy. Mm -hmm. For you to be returning 10% <laughs> a month, what has been the movement, mm -hmm. the price of gold and the changes in the price of gold? You that you are telling me you are trading one. something there. I mean, there should be some sense to what you are doing. Other than that, you are creating a Ponzi scheme mm -hmm. and you are threatening the entire financial system. Can you imagine the lives that are exposed to this entire men's good risk? Let it go down. 
So, let, it, no, I'm coming, I'm coming. let it go down today. How many years? I'm coming. Let it go down today. And you see, five, you see, mm. they've been around for like mm. five, six years here. You mm. see mm. the mm. families, mm. you see the lives that will be destroyed by that event. People have still not recovered from Piram and I, uh, what's the R5. name? And R5. Mm. So, frankly, I've always been worried. See, Bank of Ghana just issued notice. <laughs> but then I'm, I'm sitting there. <laughs> is, is that your job? Just issue notice, and this is a government system. But that's because they don't understand the system. I've so you that. find the right institution to deal with this. This means good matter. People from the former government and people today have a lot of questions to answer. How is your men's good operated? They probably have a lot of without investment proper regulation <laughs> and supervision, and they are collecting people's money and promising returns. Whatever you do. That is a summary of the discussion. You collect people's money, and then you promise them a return. Nobody has gone there because he wants to keep gold. Mm. But the people have gone there can because can they've gone there because they are making question. an investment, <laughs> and that is an opportunity cost to making putting money in a bank can in somewhere else. Can I ask a quick question? So they have a responsibility <laughs> so, to the so people. Let me ask you a quick question. Right. I thought I, I thoroughly like your 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 your, 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 your summation. I mean, but I have a question. Mm. If they are promising ten percent, is it for ten percent or four percent? Four to ten percent. Four to ten percent a month. A month. Mm. How much do you uh, pay when you borrow money from a normal bank? Mm -hmm. When you pay from the normal bank, possibly you'll be paying what about what, 25 30 percent. It depends on, is that normal on who? the economy. Mm -hmm. it, to this economy, it is very normal. The yeah. first thing you want to look when but you have to look it, at borrowing, it make you do you do you it doesn't, make, it doesn't it doesn't mean that it's a very viable proposition, mm -hmm. but that's normal because you have market benchmarks that rationalize that. Okay, what is your MPC rate? If MPC rate is at 25 percent, how do you expect the bank to lend to anybody below? If government itself is borrowing on the money markets mm. at 25 percent, how do you expect a bank to lend to you below that? I, I mean, I've just played the devil's you know, advocate. I, I, I'm asking that question because, so if most go say, I'm promising you four percent or whatever. It is 10 percent a month. 10 percent a month. It's not actually one 20 percent per annum. Because you actually have to look at the effective, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, return. You understand? Yeah, yeah it may be, I don't know, roughly, so, what, 100 and almost close to 130 or 125 percent. Where I think government should just stop. Government should take all the taxes that we generate and go and put it at men's gold. We should take the two billion from uh, what you call China. Put it at men's gold. In a year, we'll get at one twenty. We will fix this problem. We we'll pay China back and in quick, quickly. We don't need to do anything. Every no, no. every year, like every month, uh, uh, what is called interest. You use it to do some business. Uh, you use it to do I'll, some good. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it into your discussion. But, you, but so, I mean, okay. for me, in summary, SEC is doing what it should have done many years ago. All right, government is doing what it should have done many years ago. Mm. But why did you feel like that this is a witch hunt? All right, it's something that they should have done long time. Understand this clearly, one, and make sure you protect consumers. The people are shouting there. They are shouting for one reason. They are expecting to have their interest very soon. When you are telling them today that this is shouting down, clearly, you are telling a dying patient that you are dead today. It's not easy to accept. So they will definitely react. Whether it is orchestrated or not, if I have my money there, I will shout. And the truth of the matter, we have a lot of politicians and public servants who had a responsibility and duty of care to the people who are all part of this process. <laughs> Haven't you seen the men's gold guy in various functions with politicians before and today? Yeah, but it's normal, just like me, I'm always involved. Yeah, right. get <laughs> but, you know, uh, and, 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 do, you, do you have a sense that um, the, the regulators themselves don't understand the business of men's gold? Because as Senor said, you know, uh, uh, you, you must make or you must get your regulators to understand the nature of your business. I, I, I don't know whether you must get them to understand it or they have to understand it on there. But you get the sense that the regulators themselves are at a loss in respect of the business model of men's group. I, I would like to tackle this question by stating that until we take politics out of our systems and structures mm. will continue to have these challenges a new government comes in 
you change the head of SEC. We change BOG. We change all regulators. I beg you, just for the record, the two, the two bears there. come. The, the two bears yes. come. <laughs> Is that all? Yes. Please, you <laughs> know, know be on the two bears. Let everybody know that the two bears. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney is smiling, so everybody is happy. So, so um, you have done well. Uh, I will always do, actually. Yeah, well. <laughs> We've um, always done well. <laughs> so, the, we politicize everything. And decisions are taken from political angles and the direction that we want to go. And so now, we have a system. You see, the financial sector is a sector that must be steered very carefully, slowly. When you do an abrupt turn, it, yeah. it, 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 you, you have capsizing and, and the casualties that comes thereof. We have left this particular entity without a regulator for so long. And now, it, uh, the, 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 the investigation thereof falls under the, 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 the guide of SEC. Mm. BOG made a statement. Somehow BOG faded off the scene. And now SEC has come in that they fall within our jurisdiction and then we are taking this decision. In fact, their motto the, is ensuring the, investor protection. Yes. So what is yeah, happening? That's what you are doing. Yeah. There is a certain loss of confidence mm -hmm. in the Ghanaian um, companies and businesses. Right now, in the financial markets, if your investments or your funds lie with any local institution, mm. when I say local, Ghanaian owned institution. There is now a, a, a certain rush hmm. to take your monies out and go and put it in foreign banks. We are losing the confidence in our own local systems and processes. So the collateral, the collateral effect, the collateral effect in what is happening now is that uh, we told you that Ghanaian businesses cannot be trusted or the Ghanaian businesses cannot survive. And, and, uh, and so me, it is worrying the after effect, what is it that we are doing to try and make sure that we maintain confidence in our local businesses. Uh -huh. That's number one. Okay. The men's go phenomenon. You know, the nature of business is to make profit. Mm -hmm. If I have been wise enough to exploit some loophole in the system for which you were unable to bring me to book, mm -hmm. when you are now bringing me to book, it should be a process. Yeah. I agree. It should be a process. Because right now, however the money's got there, people put their monies in. The monies are there. Let me tell you something about the gold business. They take, <coughs> sometimes when you buy the gold and, and, and you take it to international banks, you are able to get a, a loan. Mm -hmm. It's an it's a, it's a asset back loan. Yeah. And about three or four times the value of what you have taken. And the interest rates that you are also giving is 0.51%. Mm -hmm. So, people who trade in the gold thing, and then you, so you can take out gold, 100,000. 100, mm -hmm. You can bring in cash, 400,000. Future expectation of more gold. No, yes. no, 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 no. no, no, no. The, 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 asset back, the asset back loan in relation to taking the gold and placing it in some of the institutions outside, that's all they do. Mm. They trade in the gold and give you uh, 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 cash that is sometimes 
double or triple of what is you think. It is it subject is it, is to the translation of more. Your goal, yes. your goal yes. is your goal in yes. effect is collateralized. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's and not that you're not being given money. Nobody's giving you money because of your goals. Mm -hmm. They're giving you money for the transaction that you have sent. Okay. If yes. your transaction is to go and do some some hydro dam somewhere and the bank believes in it, and to keep your skin in the game. They, they will take gold, gold. Mm -hmm. because it is a liquid asset. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It could be a bond. They could take any kind of financial instrument, mm -hmm. including gold. So it's not the gold per se. I understand. It is just the collateralization to, of the asset. Mm -hmm. So but when it you make that way, it makes it, it people will just think with gold, it it you can actually generate three times or two times your cash. No, okay. it, it is the transaction. It and that's the problem we have. I in Ghana. what he's saying is this, that the, depend, again, these are things we should yeah. take our time to understand. Yeah. Because maybe they have found a business model a where they send the gold and the persons they send the gold to give them money in anticipation of more gold. It's like yeah. a futures market. Yes. No, 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 the futures market again so, yeah. doesn't work like that. Yeah. I well, mean, sorry, I mean, but I'm, 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 I'm an economist. I mean, very well, yes. But so, uh, senor, yeah. your cocoa yeah. is mostly yeah. guaranteed. Yeah. I mean, if you saw your cocoa, yeah. it's a futures market. You are trading yeah, on the futures. Future. It hasn't exactly. got anything to do with your loan. No. Yeah, but the, the loan will go the one point two billion cents is going to take. Question I have is yeah. the people. Yes, you can take yeah. a loan in anticipation that um, when this this proceeds, I mean, cocoa generates a certain tonnage, yes. you are able to do that. If yeah. you are not able, then you have to find money to pay. True. Basically, yeah. what we need to understand, and that's why when Anna said we should understand the pros, what the business model of men's gold. We all don't know whether by their business model, whoever they give the go to believes in them to the extent that they say, okay, look, we are giving you money. It's possible you are get, going to get us more good. Do this. We need to understand all of that before See, we call you know, them out. No, no, no. I, I, I'm not I agree I'm, with I'm you also, on the issue of call, call, call the them out. Instance. It's something that should have happened long time no, ago. I'm not no. Once brief. you start collecting money from people and yeah, guaranteeing but, people returns, then they should be open to I beg you. the regulator. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. We, it's, a, holding, it's a second well, matter. Yeah. We're not holding brief from oh, the mm. What I am saying is that there's a confidence in the local market. That's what they are not trying to do. Right now, it's shaking. Mm -hmm. And 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 uh, citizens are not comfortable placing their investments in our local banks and yeah, yeah, right. No, no, it's very right. And then that. many many of the investment houses have gone under, and people's money are <laughs> unsecure. Yeah. You know the the banking sector that BOG pumps money in to guarantee depositors their money doesn't happen. So doesn't happen like that in the investment sector. Mm -hmm. So when those people that you are going to place your money there, they go under. Your money is gone. Yeah. SEC does not have uh, the, the power uh, in law and otherwise to be able to find funding Thank you. for your investment, for some of the investment houses that have mm -hmm. gone under. When they go, they go. Mm -hmm. And so it's, 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 it's a scary situation. And then people who are doing the right things, the collateral effect it's true. of these things, they are, they, they are also going to suffer. And the, the, the depositors are rushing everywhere. Everybody is redeeming their investments the in the entire <laughs> financial system. system. That's very true. And if you're not careful, like, we will live on the bubble. And that bubble, when it bursts, my brother, it will be catastrophic. That is why I say that in the financial industry, the, the, the abruptness in the way that we do things, we must be careful. And you see, the, 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 the men's goals attitude also has not been the best. Mm -hmm. They have insulted people. They, they, they have they told their peace of mind, more or less, go to hell, and all those things. And all of a sudden, a the issue thing. has come, and, 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 and some, some people are picketing and all these things. And then... And then uh, 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 musicians who have made money are making statements and, and people who have benefited from the system are all of a sudden making statements uh, 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 and trying to create look the regulator is correct mm. the process by which the regulator is moving is what mm. I want to sound caution <clears throat> and the speed in which you're closing down and creating this this situation 
Because once you have found somebody culpable of something, they, 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 every time you must have an implementation plan. In, 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 in dealing with the financial so systems they are, and so their call for them to shut down in your view has not been the best it, they will it? have to shut down mm -hmm. they will have to shut down but the process of shutting down mm -hmm. must be carefully managed mm -hmm. because of the fact that people's life savings and other things are there and government will not build uh, uh, the investment okay. uh, sector people out mm -hmm. yeah, as BOG up. is protecting depositors. Mm -hmm. So yes, once we were we were asleep of five to six years mm -hmm. and allowing this thing to go. Mm -hmm. So once you have woken up to your responsibilities, now you must. Up, if it took you five to six years to wake up, uh, put a process in of one to two years to, go to back steer to the again. thing. Reg and, and you can one even to, go to, to the that, system that, that, that could be and, and help them regularize. Mm -hmm. No, irregularities. Initially, it applies the guys every day. Go. No, 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 no. Do you not want to play ball every, every day. It's not that they don't want to play ball. Mm. You and I were confused as which institution yes. regulated yes. them. Yes, and we saw BOG coming. And take and, two and steps build, back. Yes, because you right? realize that if and then it goes in their business, SEC SEC now comes has in. now come in. And so you see that what? even in our own uh, 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 process of governance or oversight, we don't we didn't even know no. where the oversight lead. Mm -hmm. And now the but clarity. Why should it take us so long? This is that, that, that is that, that ah, is the problem. That's the part that ah, makes sense I to me. I understand you, and I, I share <laughs> I share your sentiments. Mm -hmm. The part that I am worried about is that investor confidence mm. in our local uh, systems, because of our inability to have regulated it in the first place, and allowing this, when this thing started, I sounded a word of caution five, six years ago. I said, ah, how can this be possible? How can this be possible? The, the, are you, you, are aren't you calling up? Are you making definitive statement now? Since they are now having no, no, a negotiation. Me, I believe that. Because you're saying they, they should they, shut down. Why? No, no. There's a process. You allowed it for five, six years. But, but they started engaging, I mean, about two years ago. It doesn't matter. About two years ago. Last when, year, we know there were some engagements. No, no I, and believe, has I, I believe SEC has the oversight responsibility. Mm. I've always held that view. <laughs> why is it that SEC didn't know this five, six years ago? Mm. I don't think that it's a matter of self not knowing. I think that it's a clear case of government failure. Government failure. So I, because uh, this thing but comes that is up, exactly what it's not rocket science for national security to pick up. Very well. Sit down yeah. and figure out where does this thing this thing lie. This is my argument. It's, it's possible I, I that they may have probably well. invested in other. I, I what what you are we're doing. Should be known, so should know. and then the investors should know the risk. I think their books ought to be audited, and we should know. That is, you know, if their books are being audited, we should know. So, 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 I'm hearing quite a lot around the table. I mean, I hear now saying, for example, that the regulator is regulator is new, but they must hasten slowly. I also hear, I mean, Franklin and Co saying that we must audit them, amongst other things. You know. Is this is this so possible that we will Relax. find out over a period how much money accruing from the gold has come in from wherever and how much of that money is going out? What gold they have? How much gold they purchase? Amongst other things, is there a possibility? Is it so? Is it something that SEC can easily do? I'm mean, putting all these things together. What's your general comment on 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 the matters regarding men's gold? <laughs> you know, let's let, let's try. Uh, anyway, good morning and uh, <laughs> thank you for the. I don't know whether I call it to bear or move fruit, but it looks more like to bear. It's to bear, it's not. It, but, it's, but it's good to bear. Yeah, 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 nice to bear is looking nice. See, for a factor. <laughs> um, Salam, we need to. Let's, let's break this thing into, into different parts so we can analyze it properly. Um, there's the issue of the regulator uh -huh. and the regulator not doing the right thing, uh -huh. which is what most people have said. 
Then there's the question of the process, which people are saying, and I'm not sure what process they are referring to, whether it's the process leading up to the uh, shutting down of, of men's gold or what. Post. I don't see. Post and then there's the whole general thing of uh, uh, Ghana being too slow to react when things are going wrong and we need to get faster. So there are several parts to this whole thing. Let's deal with the men's gold uh, regulation thing first. Whenever you decide you're going to start a business or you want to start a business, you know that you have to register depending on what kind of business it is at the Register General. So you go and you fill in the forms. Yeah. And when you fill in the form, you say what kind of business you are engaged in. Mm. The Registrar General's job is to let you know, all right, mm -hmm. that this that you are doing falls under this industry. Mm -hmm. There are certain regulations that you must follow. Um, and you are, you, you be advised, because the Registrar General also has the obligation to register your business under what we call an industry code, a standard industry code, so that it can do its analysis and determine exactly how many companies do I have working under SIC code 4258 mm. and SIC code 927 yes. thing. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a, a statutory obligation on the Registrar General, and it's supposed to produce these reports every year, which mm. it doesn't do. And that's a separate matter. <laughs> now, you cannot go forward and run your business if you are not licensed under something, mm -hmm. under somewhere. If you are going to do a bank, you are licensed under the Bank of Ghana. Yeah. That's the idea of the Securities and Industry Code yeah. and, the, and, and the Banking Regulation. This business that Men's Goal said they are doing, which they are claiming is so strange, nobody knows where they fall under. <laughs> All right? something completely different. If it turns out to be that way, what they should do, because it's going to be some kind of cash transaction, and they have been talking to the Bank of Ghana. Mm. They were talking to the Bank of Ghana at one point. Yeah. And they were also talking to the SEC at one point. Somebody, somebody must have told them that what you're doing falls under this mm -hmm. category of business, and you need this license take deposits all right Build. the minute you say you're going to take deposits Build. you are going to be regulated under the act 929 special licensing and deposit taking institution you don't have a choice that's where you fall and that is regulated by the SEC all right now you cannot criticize the process because Bank of Ghana went in investigated and issued a statement in the dailies which is what it's supposed to do mm that anybody who does business with this particular company under this uh, in this arena should be aware, be aware that this company is not licensed to do what it is doing. Bank of Ghana duly issued that statement two, three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. They've been fighting this. So anybody who was going to men's gold because of the huge interest attraction, okay, was taking their own risk. This is their risk. They knew that what they were going to do was risky. <laughs> could get them could could get them to lose their deposit. But they still went ahead and did it. Now they are forming uh, friends of men's gold. FOM. Hey. <laughs> when was that launched? Form oh, G. <laughs> it's been in the news. To be Form people G. say that Form yeah, G. men's gold. Yeah, men's gold for the AM Pinita. Mm. 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 All right. So we oui. now, if you're not careful, you're going to have the Friends of Men Gold Association mm. who will be uh, uh, walking the streets of Ghana with red armbands and with the women showing their titties all over I, the streets. I will be glad to watch. I, 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 I'll pet on top of the GCB tower. Yeah, so you can see more. <laughs> so you can see more. So as for the Men's Gold Company as it is, and its compliance mm -hmm. with regulatory authorities, it doesn't have a choice. The regulator says what you're doing falls under my category mm -hmm. and you're doing it illegally. Now, if he wants to carry on doing what he's doing, it's simple. All he has to do is to go and regularize his registration. 
And see, like, that's where my difficulty. I don't understand why. So, so nobody it, can say. Uh, before you rights, come in, what, I'm, just looking, at, I'm just looking at the letter you, from the you, lawyer. You can't be going. You look at it, our client is willing to respond to the queries raised by your letter up to the 7th August 2018 and would like to respectfully request that you furnish it with the provisions of the Securities and Industries Law that its business and objects fit into and what it requires for the purposes of alliances, if any. This request is without prejudice to the rights of our client. That's a so, lazy, so, that's so, a very, very lazy lawyer. So, so it, it, it appears... He, he has a, no, he has a client. Mm -hmm. He has a client. Yeah. And he's saying... I don't know where my client fits. No, because if, so if you say, if you say that your me. activities fall under me, yeah. uh -huh. you know, tell me where in your law... I, I, I think I agree with you so. on this. Exactly. No, but you should go and buy at 929. No, 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 no. 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 No, they are disputing that what SEC is saying they are doing is what they are indeed doing. He is a specialized deposit-taking institution. Is he not? He is a specialized, specialized. deposit-taking institution. That is what the law, that, that is the law that covers him. Yeah. All right? Act so 930 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, or 930. Uh, so, capital markets is just a, is just, is just a, a function of the nature of the borrowing. Mm. I mean, the money markets are, are short-term instruments, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. borrowing instruments that are traded. The capital markets are long-term long -term. Um, mm -hmm. borrowing instruments. So what this guy is, is, is doing will fall, will fall depends on the tenor of any of his papers. Yeah. Will fall, can market. fall either way. He's just talking about the fact that you are actually operating in, in, in what, what they are trying to say is actually that you are working um, within the markets, the, market the securities market. market. Yes. You yeah. know, and you see this right. I mean, on that. No, but you see... No, but nine, nine. So that's uh, the specialized uh, deposit taking. Uh, yeah, so he's talking about banking, but the, the that, is, but yeah, that's that's true. But but, but sec sec well, is also you know, telling bank, I think the bank of Ghana. Yeah, yeah I mean, sec, sec, yeah, okay, yeah. Nine sec nine. is yeah. also saying that you fall you you, you the, the act nine to nine governs what you're doing, okay. and under that you fall under my purview okay. as a regulator. Okay. What more do you want me to tell you? Well, what more do you want me to tell you? And, and is that letter no, asking the, the, that they want to engage? Maybe the licensing requirements that Kwame may be asking for, but... Um, the licensing I, I think, yeah, the licensing requirements, the and they said the licensing been requirements for registry under SEC are very clear. Sydney, you go there, you, you pick up a form, you, you show the qualification of your or, 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 of the uh, person or, or your process, management so. staff. Anyway, right. I think at the end we are all yeah. on the same point that we still have to get to a point of regularity. Yeah. If it was a, it's a legitimate business. If it's a legitimate business. Man's Gold has gone to engage an international UK based law firm. Do we yeah? by, by Daily Daily Lady Graphic has published this. Uh, uh, they are called uh, Baker and McKenzie mm -hmm. to come and fight their case in Ghana for them. But I mean, uh, 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 so there's also no not it's not it's so bad that we don't have confidence in our financial system. No, 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 a, a, a case for us. No, but it's a special investor. It was a special investor. You know why did I say this? Nada was trying to advocate for the Ghana business to tap on the other. And rather, the man is fighting for himself. He's not living for the other. I'm not supporting what I'm trying to get across. I'm not fighting for engaging international, engaging international organizations. Engaging international organizations to do things with you does not imply. That you don't have confidence in your local league. What does it mean? It is business. He Let's thinks see. he needs a good international lawyer to come and fight this case. He's going to go and pay through the nose at rates that he probably would never ever <laughs> anticipate. He's no, he's got the that money for because he thinks that it will be better and easier for men's goal to just go to SEC. Sit down. Right? Sit, sit down, down with, with them, them see how they can see. regularize their operations. Is that not what they are doing? No, but you, ah, see, but you guys are saying the regulator should go and sit down with him. 
See, no, but the regulators no, have actually no, gone no, there. No, 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 I mean, they, no, no, they, no. they actually exactly sent them to the understand point. the understanding. Exactly the point. Regulator has been there. And the regulator oh, made the the certain demands of them. The regulator made certain demands of them. Asked them to respond in two days. They what the regulators do? The regulators have not said they have now decided that instead of going forward in submitting the matter, they are fighting the case in the public medium, and they've decided. But but they are, they, they are, I'm not sure they are fighting because oh I mean, what, what are the issues they've you had read, you read their rebuttal to the PR. Well, one of the issues they've had is that they've had a meeting with SEC. Yes. All of a sudden, uh -huh. they see the letter leaked. Into the letter the was not leaked. Only, a, it's only, it's only some. Oh, it was sent to them. Only a content. Yes, it was sent to them. Only a sentence or two. Their contention is that was in the, in the, uh, it came from. No, but I, I can write to you. It's, it's not necessarily, it may not necessarily have to be. I'm saying the SEC is a public institution. Yeah. Yeah. And and they have so they, they, their point is that all these notices <laughs> to shut down, etc., was leaked to, to, to the public in bad faith. Ah, no, but no, on, no, the no, no, on the one hand, you are saying, on the one hand, they are telling you stop. They need to let the public even know. Yeah. It is our colleagues leaking. Release. <laughs> because but you have to let the people know. I will, you stop I will, I will, on, on the one hand. I will think, on, on the I will one hand, on the one hand, you are saying that the public should know. Mm -hmm. Now you are saying yeah. it's been leaked. Then and on I the other hand, you are saying there has to be a financial audit. I will think, then you say the thing has been leaked. No, I will think, then you listen, are saying listen, how much listen, cash have they made? Let's then be then very you say the thing careful. has been leaked. Let's be, what very, do you want? let's be very careful here. Eh? I'll, uh, if I, I'll defer to Nana when he says that, uh, in spite, see, you have sat down. You've had its challenges. They've engaged you in the past. There have been issues. Now, there's a fiat which says, well, shut down. Nana is saying that given what has gone on, there must be a method, a method so that you don't depress the dividends, the, the dividends levels already in the system. So do it properly. But the thing that's was so, done. No, but this frankly, is the bit I don't understand. We started and sat down with him and discussed it. Wait, wait, wait. But the letters that are coming out now are saying that, look, give, we are having meetings with yes. you. And then you've gone ahead to do this. And then this has happened. I mean, I think they wrote a letter giving you notice for you to shut down. For you to shut down. Come to a conclusion that what you were doing was illegal. Was illegal. We can't be in a country of lawlessness. So once that was found, and they asked you to shut up, don't continue. Stop. Is that what the letter If said? I catch somebody today, and I'm a regulator of petroleum, and you are operating in petroleum illegitimate, I will stop you. Fine, yeah. It doesn't matter the number of customers you have, because you are posing a certain risk to the entire society. Very well. Let me take a few comments from our mm. listeners and viewers. Good morning. Look, we are worrying ourselves, focusing on our firms instead of mm. BOG and SEC. This is a complete indication of regulatory failure. And we are sitting discussing empty clueless exchange of DOG and SEC public announcements. Nobody at SEC and DOG has lost its job, but rather the innocent young staff or young employees of those institutions, you say. Is BOG deposit insurance scheme working at all? This country, you say, is a joke. Well, who is Justice Offer Jr. Africa Economic Dialogue. Oh. Uh, this other one says, what the saying. regulators are at a loss, old, archaic ways, and not abreast with the times. The regulators, have, also the regulators have to learn works. and learn really fast, yes. other than bulldozing their way through. No, you see, those kind where, of things. Where, 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 yeah, where, I don't get it. Let's, 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 these, are, these, are, these are, I mean, these are people's... Yeah, but it's not, so misinformed. Not, <laughs> I mean, it's so, so misinformed that... Isn't, it, it, but isn't it a fact that the regulators have to learn and learn fast? Well, I agree, that's a given. But, but that's but, not the issue here. No, but the, the point, no, it's a similar point to me that the regulators have failed us. There's, they are there's, coming fast enough. It's a enough. total government failure. Okay. And but government of course, agreed. Uh -huh. So that one, as the regulators so, so, are so, 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 agreed. But, but when, when is, 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 this problem has not arisen from people not learning fast. You can, I will agree with you, people not acting fast. fast. Oh, that's not right. learning All fast. Right. Learning fast right. in this matter. Let me take this out. Let me see. I, I, I mean, you, you may or may not have to. Hey, that's not right. right. Good morning, Salon. BOG should sit up and do their housekeeping before coming to destroy people's businesses. Uh, in any case, who left uh -huh. the loopholes in the system? This is Jones, a boy from Lada de Kotopon. Charles Nyami from Asamanka is a Salon. It would only be proper for Ghanaians to realize and endure the pain of the current development where there is business collapses shutdowns, layoffs, panic withdrawals, all in the name of sanitizing the system under the so-called 
economic messiahs. I stand with Nana Pia Mesa in Mexico. Uh, all right. Uh, Salam, so why... Friends of Men's uh, Goal. Uh, <laughs> why at all can these regulators work with Men's Goal to regulate their activities rather than these public panic notices? As it stands now, they oh, have the license to export gold out yeah. of the country, meaning their right. business can the equally process. boom outside this country. Right. Are they what just they against any that. initiative that will help the Ghanaian? Other countries prosper at, their ex at, our, at our expense. Yeah. Our state yeah. agencies yeah. should be up and doing and evolve to assist yeah. local yeah. businesses. Yeah. Well, yeah. you go on and on and on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this other one says, Professor Bopin does not know what he's talking about. Does he have an idea of the amount that is involved? Businesses will collapse and people will die if men's gold is allowed to just shut down. Yeah. The government should employ wisdom and tact. They in the issue, release, in yeah. the issue, Media. come now from Dan Suman. I think this is in respect Media of the machine. earlier uh, um, um, clip we played, uh, where Professor Bopping says he didn't think that the, the shadow of men's would have yeah, any he, serious he, effect. He said it was an isolated case, yeah. was it? Yeah. You yeah. have yeah. the company yeah. to yeah. set up, that, 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 advertise, that, and did business for years. Then you wake up just one day and decide to shut it down with the risk of depositors losing their money. One, where was SEC when men's gold was setting up? Two, has SEC thought about the consequences of an outright shutdown? Three, what is the plan to ensure that depositors do not lose money in case the company is shut down? This is Kwabna, uh, from Dan Soman. Uh, let me read this out. The CEO of Men's Gold cleverly amassing the youth and old students of Adisadel to create an impression that state institutions have Machiavellian agenda to cripple his business. The bubble will burst with this abnormal return on investment. The bigger the risk, the bigger the return. The public should be informed. This is Yemo, who is also a Santa Clausian uh, in Lashibi. I, I, I will take a quick break, but uh, or I'll take a quick break now. Um, I'll return and we'll look at the other aspects of this, then we'll move on to our next issue. This is the big issue. Don't go away. <laughs> Live music, interviews, poetry, and more with your favorite personalities. Be our guest on Saturdays from 2 to 4 p.m. for the most exciting moments on TV. for real entertainment right in your living room. Saturday Live on City TV and City 97.3 FM. Quero ver todo mundo balançando. Ninguém pode ficar parado. É só loucura. Witness the twisted and tangled story of betrayal, greed, vengeance, and love in the award-winning Brazil Avenue. Carminha, a woman led by greed, gets rid of her husband, who is Rita's father, and sends Rita away to a filthy landfill. Rita finds love in Batata, but they are soon separated by adoption into different families far away from each other. Many years later, all paths cross again. As Rita, now a renowned chef, seeks to pay back her stepmother for taking away her happiness as a child. It's a story of twists, turns, suspense and thrilling action in Brazil Avenue. Brazil Avenue, coming soon only on CTTV. Brazil Avenue. Wherever the weekend sporting action happened, we will bring it to you here on Scorecard. Every goal, every dunk, every punch, the winning strides, and the winning volleys. Come international media, he said, look, wait, sit and wait. Let me have a meal with my people. <laughs> and I think that that's the same cool 
It's the same organization he brings to the field every time I've seen him play. He looks to me like somebody who has played over 50 cups already. Okay. But this guy has barely played over 25 cups for the national team. All of the weekend's action in one place. Scorecard every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. prompt on CTTV. Hi, uh, you're welcome back. This is a big issue. Uh, we're coming to you live from our studios here at number 11, Dr. Martin Lupin at the Braca in Accra. And on City TV around the globe, we are live on citynewsroom.com. Um, we are still looking at the matter of men's gold and the matters arising. Um, this week, um, a number of things have happened. People have demonstrated, um, some youth have demonstrated in Kaswa in support of uh, the men's gold CEO. Um, they say <laughs> that, um, but, but that they men's have a branch, um, they have a so branch in Kaswa. They call, they, they, they group calling itself the Coalition of Consent. Do they have a branch in Kaswa? They demonstrated against he started the suspension of, of parts or some of the operations of men's gold. The group is fuming with rage <laughs> over what it termed a deliberate attempt by government to sabotage men's gold Ghana and its Chief Executive Nana Afia Mensa. According to the group, any country's development is linked to the success of its youth. Uh, so, at a demonstration in Kaswa, in the central region, the leader of the group, Mr. Tetebeo, appealed to the government and the Security and Exchange Commission to, as a matter of urgency, put an end to the attempt to collapse the business of Nana Afia Mensa. So, these are the these are some of the social um, issues, if you like, which are coming out of this. Um, I get a point around the table that we they, they have to hasten slowly. The business it must be regulated, etc., etc. Jobs may be lost, so we have to find a way of maybe migrating men's go from where they are to proper waters, if you like. So everybody is happy. The sec is happy, or regulators are happy, employers are happy, and the business itself is happy. That I guess is a consensus. L let me come to the table quickly mm -hmm. on what the law must do or is the law missing something very briefly okay yeah briefly uh so look, just a, a sentence before we delve into that the one you're saying migrating them okay to another uh or say, let's say a safety okay. ring yes let's be careful it doesn't look like that's easy to do remember mm. that the precursor to the uh letter of uh, june uh, sorry uh, september 12th was mm -hmm. that there was an earlier letter where the SEC had asked for certain information, mm -hmm. okay, relating to the business model, mm -hmm. and that information wasn't forthcoming. So you didn't do this, or? No, no, no. no it was, uh, uh, it was it was a two weeks. One? Look, reading between the lines, it appears that that lack of information shows that there is trouble. I mean, mm -hmm. let's be very uh, candid about this. Thing. So, to be candid, if it was possible to migrate them and to regularize, I'm sure SEC would have done so. What type of